Hello, thank you for joining us today. My name is Bill Fioran. I'm the Director of Interventional Cardiology at Stanford University. And it's my pleasure to be joined by my good friend and colleague, Dr. David Lee. Dr. Lee is the Director of the Cardiac Cath Labs at Stanford, as well as the Interventional Fellowship Program Director. And today we're gonna to be talking for a few minutes about a new catheter-based technique that he's been working on that helps treat hypertension or high blood pressure. Thank you for joining us, David. Thanks for having me, Bill. So um, first of all, before uh, we get started on that uh, specific catheter-based technique, can you describe why hypertension is an issue and, and, and what, it, what it means to our patients? Sure, uh, hypertension is a big medical problem. It affects about 30% of the world population, uh, many of which are undiagnosed. So um, in the world of hypertension, about 500, billion, or 500 million people have high blood pressure. The main issue with blood pressure management is that we haven't done a great job with it. And in terms of the outcomes associated with high blood pressure, uh, as you know, it leads to a lot of cardiovascular disease, whether it be stroke, um, heart attack, or heart failure, and, as, and other things like arrhythmias can also result from high blood pressure. So it's a big medical problem. It also costs a lot of money. $500 billion in the last year was spent on treating hypertension. Wow. So um, most patients are treated with medications for high blood pressure. Why is this not sufficient? Why do we need an alternative therapy? Yeah, another great, great question. I think one of the big things about high blood pressure management is that many people don't take the medicines that they're supposed to be taking. Anywhere between 30 and 40% of people who are supposed to be taking medicines don't take them, or they don't take them the way their doctors ask them to. So there's a big gap in terms of treatment and preventing all the complications of hypertension. And this is where newer technologies uh, may be helpful to, hel to help treat hypertension for, for our patients. Yeah, so can you tell us um, what exactly is renal denervation? Yeah, it's a, it's a new procedure, although uh, it was developed uh, early on as a startup here in Palo Alto back in 2005. And uh, the way it works is that we know that the heart, the brain, and the kidneys all talk together via nerves uh, to help regulate your blood pressure. And in people with high blood pressure, those signals uh, become overactive. And the idea behind the treatment is that we take a catheter, put it in the renal artery, that is the uh, blood vessels that lead to the kidney, and surrounding them are nerves. And within these nerves, uh, we can target uh, areas using these catheters to try and uh, apply heat to, to uh, make the nerves go, go away, but also preserve the architecture of the blood vessel itself. So no harm to the blood vessel, but we're turning off or turning down the noise that's going on between the heart, the brain, and the kidney to manage blood pressure. Great, and what exactly should the patient expect? What does the procedure entail, and, and how long does it take, and what will they feel? Yeah, uh, so it's a arterial-based uh, procedure, so it's much like getting a coronary angiogram. Um, so we put a small catheter in the groin for now, but although s some technologies now are looking at doing it from the wrist, much as we do many of our coronary angiograms today. Um, the, a catheter is placed into the kidney arteries. We take pictures as a road map, and then we bring the catheter that does the denervation into the artery itself and then apply the heat energy to, to help, again, uh, make those nerves sort of turn down their signaling. The procedure itself takes about maybe 30 to 60 minutes. Um, there is sometimes pain involved because people will feel it um, in, in, their, in their bellies, uh, but we oftentimes will give plenty of medications and most people at the end of the procedure don't, don't remember ever having any pain. And they're awake uh, during the procedure. That is correct, yeah. They're breathing on their own and they're wide awake. Yeah. Great. And you've been doing for many years now a lot of studies in this area. What, what have you found so far with respect to outcomes and the benefit of this treatment? Yeah, uh, the latest data, which we published in The Lancet, uh, suggests that, that using these devices uh, can help lower people's blood pressure significantly. And in the first big study, which we just completed, called Spiral HTN Off, uh, we used the same catheter system, but we looked at people who were taken off their medicines. That is, generally they were on one or two medicines beforehand. We took them off the medicines, and then we treated them. And what we found was that the blood pressure does significantly go down in these patients. Uh, often Oftentimes these people don't need the medicines afterwards. And so uh, we're quite pleased and excited about the results. Yeah, that's terrific. So 
currently, um, who's eligible for this um, this treatment, and when will it become commercially available? Yeah, for for most uh, p patients with hypertension um, that we've studied, their blood pressures are generally in the 150 to 180 range uh, off their medications. They can be e e between the ages of 18 and 80, as per the clinical trial um, protocols. And uh, they are all, all eligible with high, high blood pressure in those ranges. Um, the expectation is that you will be able to uh, reduce your medication or get rid of them completely and not need them at all. Great, great. Are there any new developments or techniques coming down the pipeline that yeah, we should be aware of? Yeah, there are some newer catheters that are coming down the line, um, some using ultrasound energy, um, others also uh, looking at a unique way to deliver alcohol actually into the area where the nerves are as well directly. Wow. Well, this has really been very informative and instructive. Um, thank you, uh, David, and uh, thank you for joining us today.